You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. And I just bent over and it came out. Rubbed the first layer of skin off. Mm. Oh. Not good. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Oh, look at me being butch. Talking of camp things, how are you, Mike? I'm not camp, me. As a field of tents. <laughs> Did you know you can't run through a campsite? You can only run through a campsite. You it's are. past tents. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I get that now. Past, okay. Yeah. In the beginning. Past tents. Yeah. Yeah. This week from the web, I'm bringing you a food item that got me very angry. And I've got the showbiz news, including more than one sporty story. Warning, you may see some skin. We also have Mike bringing you another educational, that science that is. On the screen now you can see our contact info. Yep, at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. Some of you have done just that. And we will try to reply to the many, many messages we receive. In fact, Lee was answering some of your questions before we started recording the show. These may take longer than usual, as Lee is not really that good with most modern communication methods. I love. Nah. I've had enough of this pile of typographic trash. It's useless, there's no delete key, and keeps telling me to change the ribbon. Do I look like I'm wearing a ribbon? I'm going back to something I know works without fail. At vast expense, I've bought totally reliable, easy to use, low tech device that I know how to use. Do you want to see it, Mike? Um, yes. It's a B-row. What of it? You know what they say, the pen is mightier than the sword. I always thought it was that the penis is mightier than the sword. Well, I have drawn... Anyway, enough of this. Mike, breaking news. Six sleek swans swam swiftly southwards. No, actually, I do this every week. You can do it now for a change. Oh, f Okay, then, bring it on. Je suis ce que je suis, elle sait, je suis le que je suis, c'est le je la suis. I am what I am, and if I am what I am, what am I? Mm. And as a wiser person than me once asked, la question c'est voulez-vous? Did you just come over Abba? How rude. Talking of things that are questionable, where is the producer? He's in the gallery. Are you shitting me? Well, actually he can't be with us again today, as he's currently learning how to paint. He recently went round the studio of an artist friend who'd arranged a nude life drawing class. He'd brought the latest and most expensive easel, hoping to impress the rather well-endowed model, but said he had trouble getting it up and in the end had to do it kneeling on the floor. No doubt he'll come away covered in oils every colour of the speculum. Do you think he means spectrum? I asked, I checked, and unfortunately, no. You want to see the picture he sent me? No, 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 no. Let's just play. Day of the week. This week it's Mike's turn to get up off his once young and supple behind. Go on off your pop, flabby ass. <laughs> Go on, pick your cheeks up. Today we're playing What's Another Word for Synonym? All Mike has to do is give me clues to the word or phrase generated by our super deluxe, octo-core, water-cooled, artificially intelligent, randomised, question-generating mega computer. And all I have to do is guess them. What could be easier? Are you ready, Mike? No, f*** off. Mud pie. I always struggle with this game because I really don't really understand it. Mud pie. So I'm going to say three words mm. or phrases and you have to see what links them all together. Like only connect on the BBC. Oh, okay. Can't really do it from the first letter though, can I? Word. Because... Can I have a go? I don't know. Okay. Mud pie. Well, the first one's mud pie. I don't know. Okay. The Big Easy. I don't know. Mud pie, the Big Easy. That's a film. Mardi Gras. Right, the big easy Mardi Gras. 
Um, um, th that place in America. Um, oh, the one where um, they have Mardi Gras, L L Louisiana. It's not Louisiana. Um, it, Missis Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi mud pie. I thought you'd get that one. No, it's chocolate cake. You're the one with the fat ass, not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Clone sheep. Dolly. Dolly, correct. Well done. There you go. Yeah. Pick that one right up. Squares on the ground. Patio. Nope. Oh. Stone. Pavement. No. Oh. <laughs> People at home are going. Ugh. <laughs> okay, blank, skip, and jump. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Yes, well done. You said you weren't very good at this. You're doing well today. Mm. Yeah. Prophylactic. <laughs> jizz. <laughs> no, my next clue is jizz. <laughs> oh. Prophylactic. Condom. Condom, yes, right, correct, well done. Wow, well, that's surprisingly easy. Yeah, you're getting good. Condom. What, again? Yeah. <coughs> Prophylactic. No. Food substance. Condom, food substance. No. Need another one. You need another one? Yeah. Millions of them. Sperm. Sperm, correct, well done. I have to think your base level. <laughs> you do have to get down to my level to get these, right? Mm. Okay. Small round thing. Not your arse. Um, I'm going with this one all the way through this show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no, g g give me another one, please. Not an orange. Apple. No. <laughs> Satsuma. Tangerine. You only get one guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I started there shouting out fruit. Is there another clue? There is another clue. What, what is it? Sperm. Jaffa. Jaffa? Seedless. You're no. a Jaffa. <laughs> Kumquat. Oh, as if, as if anybody would be able to get that. Kumquat. Let's have another one, Mike. German. What? Joan or germ? German. German. Yeah. Um... Sausage. It's not sausage. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oktoberfest. German. Up. Beer. No. And clothing. German Oktober. Lederhosen. Lederhosen. Oh. Yes. Well done. You are doing very well at this. Thank you. Yeah. Side order of patronisation there for my... Patronisation. <laughs> yes. Comrade. Russian. Mm. Ooh. Red Square. Well, yeah, it's Comrade Red Square. Um, the KGB. No. The Winter Palace. I said it, Russia. And if I've, said, if I've said no, it mustn't be the answer, must it? Right, well, all of those are in Russia. Where else are they? In, in Russia. Where in Russia? In, in the middle of Russia. Moscow. St. Petersburg. Oh, wow. Pfft. Geography teacher. Fashion faux pas. You? No. Silence. Mm. Says the man who's advertising sanitary products, because he now comes with wings. They're from an angle. They're from an angle? Yeah, touched by an angle. <laughs> it's angel, you 
illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> Good in an outdoor space. I forgot what the first one was. <laughs> I said it. I can't remember it. Fashion faux pas was. Oh, good. fashion faux pas. Good in that. Um, crotchless panties. Easy access. Nope. No. But we'll leave you moist after using it. Crocs. No, a cagoule. Because you know you get that cagoule sweat. I've never worn a cagoule, Mike. Yes, you have. No. Okay. Still to come, we've that science that is. And after this sweet relief, it's Lee with the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's join Lee as he opens up his laptop and shares what he can find in there in the showbiz news. You alright babes? Yeah you? Yeah? Yeah. 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 A slightly bit hyper there. A little yeah. bit hyper but I've, I've, had some, I've had some sugar. Have you? Have you had some E? E numbers? E numbers, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not E. E Not numbers. E, e numbers. Yeah. So, Kerry Katona. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, well. So, she's had a bit of an up and down couple of years, hasn't she? She, she has been up and down a bit, yeah. She, she was there. Prawn rings. Prawn rings. Prawn rings. And then no rings. No. no money at all. Nothing. But apparently, she is now a millionaires again. Oh. Thanks to her, her X-rated website. She's got an X-rated website. She has got an X-rated website. It's that, it's that OnlyFans thing. Oh, right, okay. okay. So she's not so doing... she's got an OnlyFans channel. Yeah, but it's right. saucy. So she, it's not... So... <laughs> what kind of sauce? Well... Is it the sauce? Is it... A little bit of tit? Is it, is it rosemary sauce that you get with the pudding? No, no. A little bit of boob. A little bit of cheeky bum. A little bit of okay. foot action. Yeah. We've got, we've got a picture of Kerry here on the okay. beach with her latest, um, her latest bow. Okay. Um, Hello. Um, are you are you feeling the? Who's the latest bow? I don't know what he's. Um, let me have a look. Um, it just says latest bow. It's just her latest bow. Latest boyfriend. Bow. She, she always has one, doesn't she? She always has it. Yeah, but she's she's done good there. Yeah, I think he's a personal trainer. Leading up to the pandemic, she was skint, mm -hmm. absolutely skint. So they had so, so skint that she had to borrow money from her mum. And if you kind of know the Kerry Katona story, her mum's not somebody who has a lot of money. No. So, you know, so what she's done is she's now earning tens of thousands a month after setting herself up her OnlyFans account. Ooh. So in 2008, she was um, declared bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And now she's made all her money back. We've got, a we've got an example of one of the pictures or the type of picture that she uses on her OnlyFans site here. Um, it's a little bit, it's not, it's, it is, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's it, it's you know it's oh, okay. You know is that Kerry Katona? It is, yeah. She's had some work done. She? Oh, she has. Everything. Oh, someone different. Nip, tucked, sucked, and stapled. Yeah, she's got, she's got a boyfriend. His personal trainer works her out, babes. Yeah, works um, her out. But what's it, how's he managed to change her face? I don't know. That's the miracle of of a celebrity. Yeah. Uh -huh. So she kind of she kind of posts those kind of pictures, mm -hmm. but the big earner for yeah. her on her OnlyFans is is pictures of her feet in cork wedges. In cork wedges. Can see her being a girl that wears cork wedges. No, no. We've got we've got we've got a picture of of the of the foot photograph there. So yeah, clear so, plastic as yeah. a strap on it. That's not going to be comfortable to walk in. Well, she's not walking in them, is it? She's just sat down taking photographs. Yeah, of but them. shoes are the the boots are made for walking. I don't think you've grasped the concept of a foot fetish only fan site. They don't care. They don't want to see you walking around in your mules, in your fluffy, in, in your in your crook, in your Crocs. I don't own Crocs, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see the tootsies, don't they? They want to see the. They want to see what the. They want to see the little piggies. They want to see the little piggies, and she's giving it to him. So apparently, it is massively successful if it wasn't for this mm. she'd have absolutely no more money at all so she's she's made enough money to to declare that she's a millionaire again okay and can invest in other businesses i don't know what those other businesses are the kerry katona foot that you can buy possibly <laughs> the latex foot the one with the vagina and the ankle 
<laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I, I, do you know what? I think that celebrities should have an air of mystique about them. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to see everything. What, like Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. I don't want to see. So that was a, that was a geek reference. And now I, I, I yeah. chose to ignore it. Um, I don't want to see all the ins and outs. I don't want to see the ins and outs, the <laughs> internal crevices. What we're not seeing, just a foot. I don't want to see that. Well, don't don't subscribe to OnlyFans. Well, then. no, no, but I'm just you know saying. But good for, good yeah. for you, Kerry. Having a foot out and stuff. It's not like she's saying. And a boobies. And a boobies. Mm. Well, it's not like she's getting an endoscope and going up somewhere, is it? Right. Only a matter of time. Have a look at my fallopian tubes. Well. You know who could say you could say. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put that aside okay. for now. The Olympics are done and dusted. Yeah. They're all finished. Yeah, we did many quite medals well. won. We did, yeah. Some of us enjoyed it more than others. Mm. Mm. I don't really watch it. I don't. I like surprisingly the where they come on and do the ribbon twirling and the dancing like that. Um, <gasps> I'm shocked. <laughs> That's so unlike you, Lee. <laughs> I like the dancing horses. Dressage. Yeah. But I quite like the thick thighs of the gymnasts as well. So it's all about balance. I, I, I like the gymnasts and the wrestlers. I know. Not a lot to the imagination in those outfits. The, the, <laughs> yeah. So let's just focus, get focus better. Tom Daly, uh -huh. he's a big knitter. <laughs> and one of these things that he was doing in between kind of swimming. It doesn't do swimming. Just jumping into water. Yeah, but then he has to swim out of the pool as well. It's not far. Well, you know. <laughs> it's not like an Olympic swim I don't watch after it. diving. So once so in between whatever he does uh -huh. to kind of combat the boredom, mm -hmm. he does a bit of knitting. Oh. So um we've got a picture of him and his partner, a swimming partner, mm -hmm. not his husband. Mm -hmm. Um um Matty. Oh, they're ripped, aren't they, Mike? They are, but oh. Do you think if they st that's because they swim all the time, the yeah. minute they stop swimming... And they have to follow a really strict food regimen mm. and stuff. There's no cheeky Nando's for, for athletes. Is there not? No. Oh, it's a shame. So, yeah, in between winning gold medals, mm -hmm. he would sit by the side of the pool mm -hmm. knitting. And okay. one of the first things that he knitted was a little holder for his gold medal. Okay. You, are you not impressed by that? We've got a picture of him here with his uh, that he posted on social media, um, with his little ah. Oh, he's knitted a little yeah. holder for. He probably had to knit either a bigger one or more because he won quite a lot of medals, like seven or something like that. I don't know something like that. I was quite, I was slightly disappointed that they actually genuinely made out of gold. They're not made out of chocolate. <laughs> I thought they could peel. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it's famously known for. You know. <laughs> <laughs> on the, the top, so like winning podium, they're all this international anthem going. Mm -hmm. Keep your energy up. Mm -hmm. All that exercise, you need it, don't you? Then I would say give them a real medal uh -huh. and a chocolate like, one. Like that one that they do. What, what makes you think they don't get a gold medal? Well, I don't Maybe know. Maybe in the changing rooms they give out yeah. gold medals that are made of chocolate. Yeah, so what, yeah. What's <laughs> disappointed me is that as a fellow gay man, Tom Daly's surrounded by lots of men in tight swim, swimwear, ripped mm. bodies, and he's knitting. Perhaps that's a distraction. I'd be perving. Well, it's you, isn't it? But you know, you would as well. Is it <laughs> in the unlikely universe that I would be an Olympian swimmer? <laughs> no, but sat in the, <laughs> at, beside an Olympic pool, I'd have to cover a towel. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be knitting something quite. Perhaps that's what he's. Perhaps that's what he's, he's, he's knitting. Perhaps his wall is covering his his oh. happiness. Who knows? So we, we've got <laughs> quite a small happiness then, isn't it? <laughs> we've got a picture of him and Matty getting their awards. Oh, okay. Um, not not getting the happiness. Not getting yeah. Um, yay! Tiny tiny bunches of flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that he thing. So he said, um, I got the Union Jack one, um, and he's put the Union Jack on one side, Japanese flag on the other side. Mm -hmm. So and he, and, he, and he says it tucks in nicely for me to have a little pouch and carry around my medal without it getting scratched. On some more Olympic news. More? More Olympic Ooh. news. So pink, you don't really associate the singer pink with the Olympics. Well, well you would because, you so know, She could do gymnastics. She could do gymnastics yeah. and ribbon twirling. Anyway, pink has offered to pay the fines that were given to, a, to the Norwegian women's beach handball team after they refused to wear the 
kit that they are traditionally told to wear. So we've got we so we have a picture of the team here wearing the um outfit that they chose to wear. Okay. You know, it's it's still quite skimpy. It's still quite skimpy, but if you kind of think they they're running around jumping and mm -hmm. whacking the balls and stuff. So yeah, so they were they were so they decided that they weren't going to they weren't going to wear the, the bikini. We do have we have a picture of so this is what the the men's team wear. So you know, full coverage, the quite That's long a bit shorts. Disappointing. Yeah, would you like them to would you like them to swap? I'd like them to swap. Okay. So but then this is this picture here is what the women are supposed to wear. Right, okay. Which is, you know, these tiny little bikini bottoms and crop top things. Why are the men not in that? I don't know, Mike. I'd like the men in that as well, please. Perhaps you need to take that up with the Olympic Committee. I will do. Okay. I'll take it right up. <laughs> so they so they chose to wear the first mm -hmm. outfit. They were all all charged 130, about 150 euros, and they called it improper clothing. Uh -huh. So Pink was like, nah, not, not putting up with this. I, I will pay your fines because this is completely completely sexist. Um, I'm gonna I'm happy to pay your pounds. So yeah, and she did. Um, and the team they reciprocated um, right. on Instagram. Thanks so much for all the support. We really appreciate all the love we have received. Right. Which I think is pretty. It, that is sexist, isn't it? Is. It is. It's saying that the women have to be wearing a lot more revealing stuff than the men is blatant sexism. But saying that, if you were on the Olympic committee. They would all be naked. They would all be wearing nothing. No, they'd all be naked because in ancient Greece, <laughs> Greece, they were all naked. We need to have the Olympics as it was. Naked, naked oiled, men, oiled up, fighting. And erect. Yes. <laughs> there we go, Pink. I think you need to pay that fine off as well. That's the end of this week's showbiz news. Yeah, it's not true because I've not even had a fine. <laughs> well, thank you, Lee. Coming soon, we have that science, that is. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and Lee. And now let's see what absolute detritus Mike has managed to dredge up in the segment we called The Buzz. Isn't that when you get like dry skin? Is that not dermatitis? Oh. I've got scabies, just that I put it out there. <laughs> I haven't really. I've just got itchy crevices. <laughs> oh, right. We've all had an itchy crevice before now. Um, but while you've got an itchy crevice, I've been having itchy fingers as they've been going deep in the internet. You see what I did there? Oh, yeah, I saw yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. um, And I've got a couple of fun stories. Okay. The first one's quite a, a, a heartwarming, warm, fuzzy moment. Heartwarming? Warm and fuzzy moment. Okay. You know when you feel good about something for no apparent reason? Yeah. Like you get a Freddo for half price. That'd be like 5p. 5p. How much are Freddos? They're like 70p now. Are they? I know, Freddos 70p. Wow, no. Yeah. About 20p. No, 70p. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, and this is a story that, you know, during the pandemic, things are a lot of people struggling for money. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a story about one CEO who took a 90% pay cut. Oh. Right. So that he could give all of his staff a pay rise. And it's a gentleman called Dan Price who runs a credit card processing company called mm -hmm. Gravity Payments. Okay. Yeah. Um, he basically he came out on Twitter and said, look, I realised that people were having problems with money because some of the staff had a um, McDonald's employee handbook on the desk while they were at work. So I asked him what's going on there. He's like, oh, no, I've had to take a second job. Oh, okay. To pay for things. So he's there going, I need to pay more. He took a 90% pay cut. He said, I don't need all this money. <laughs> yeah. Give the staff a, a, a living wage. Oh, well, I mean, that is a very admirable thing yeah, to do. I thought, I thought that was a really good thing Where's to do. Where's the catch? Huh? Where's the catch? That's it. It's a heartwarming, feel good story. There's no catch. There's no catch. Do you not write that off for to tax? For to tax. For to tax. For to tax. <laughs> to, to, to tax. Oh, to tax. <laughs> for to tax. Um, no, because in America, it's not for tax. Oh. In America, it's just tax. Oh, okay. Well, good. Good for him. If yeah. he wants to chuck a bit of cash my way, I'm quite happy to you accept. Don't work for him. I know, but you know. You'd have to work for him. Semantics. <laughs> it's called employment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I'll move away from the good good news story. Going Whoa. away from the good news. Going away from the good news. We're not really. We're staying with the good news today. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so have you ever thought, hmm, this is an outfit I can't wear? Not not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you want to show us this on someone went, oh, can I get away with wings? <laughs> 
I, I, my general sort of feeling is, is this, is this too much? Let's put some more on. And well, this is a story about um, a mum in Stockport in Greater Manchester. Okay. Okay. Who has said that when she gets something that she doesn't want to wear, or she thinks, is it really that age appropriate? She gives it to a son to wear. Okay. Okay. Um, so a mum five has said she was worried about online returns and buying stuff that didn't fit her properly or was just a bit too small or didn't quite work for her. But her son, Sam, would wear it and get away with it. So, and she would say how proud she was that her son could, could try it on and, and would model it in the living room and just be his authentic self. Well, I mean, that's nice. What I'm kind of going to say is, yeah. does she not try things on first? Online. Oh, OK. But, you know, when you like, so you just say, oh, I don't know if it's for me. Uh -huh. Well, don't buy the leopard print top if you don't think it's for you. Buy somewhere else. I think it's I think it's good <laughs> that she's saying, you know, oh, I bought this crap. I don't want it. Do you want it? <laughs> it doesn't quite fit me. It's looks hideous like me. on me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You look all right in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've taken think... that good news story and... I've just made it all bitter and nasty. I have and twisted, yeah. Why would you do that? I Because I'm me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it's lovely. It is lovely, yeah. Okay. And can I borrow that top he's wearing? No. Um, yeah. Because it's a dress. It's a dress. Oh, well, didn't, yeah. Doesn't bother me. I've got the legs for it, babe. So. <laughs> Who told you that lie? My mum. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, so, have you, have you ever thought, hmm, I need to improve my, my sexy time fun times? Do I need to what with my what? Improve your sexy time fun time. No. No. I am the master <laughs> of debating. Of love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> master debating. Yes. <laughs> um, I can make somebody just come instantly by just looking at them. You've come, done not you? No, it's gone away. It's <laughs> in my neck. Reverse boner. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, well, a, a question's gone out there of, of would you pay £3,000 for a, a treatment that involved zapping your bits with electric, zip, 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 so you could have orgasms? What does it do? Um, so this is for the ladies. Oh, it's for the ladies. It's for the ladies, yes. And it's called Femilift. <laughs> uh, it's a treatment designed to increase the sensation down there. Okay. Okay. And it costs 3,000 pounds. It's an electrical current that they pop in and give it a bit of a zap. Okay. Um, and it says that 20% of women have never climaxed with their partner. Okay. But this has had massive success in allowing them to get to that point. Okay. <laughs> Could the same effect not be achieved by plugging in like the hair straighteners and just do there. not put hair straighteners up your floop. Do not put hair straighteners up your floop. Yeah, that's not what it's called, isn't it? Floop. I, I think that quite often, from what I understand, mm -hmm. not having been visitor down there um, in my life, that if ladies have had children mm -hmm. and kind of it can lose sensation. Sensation. Yeah. So it, it's to help people regain that sense of to tighten it up again and. And you're stuck now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> tighten know. it up again and some other yeah. stuff. I think if you if that is something that is really important to you, uh -huh. then go for it. Yeah, zap your flaps. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't have called it this family lift, should they? They shouldn't have called <laughs> zap it zap your flaps. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 go for it. Yeah. Um. Or. Have a look at your partner and say, what is it that you're doing that's not getting me off? Because it's not all about the motion of the ocean. Oh, I'm gone. It's not about the size of the boat. <laughs> it's the motion in the ocean. I don't know what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is if he's if their partner's a crap in bed, perhaps they need to look at their own. Okay. I'm going to move on now. Um, and don't forget, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the TV, and on YouTube we are under Chewing the Cud. But now we're going to go to Story of the Week, which increases my rage quite considerably. Oh. Okay. Your range. My rage. Oh, your my rage. rage. My anger levels. Okay. Okay. It's a food item, Lee. 
Oh. You like right. these? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I shall get out my cloche. You're like an old dead hedgehog from the road that you've picked it, up. It is. Deep fried. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. So, under my cloche, I have some biscuits. Okay. Oh. Now, what, 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 what biscuits do we have here? We, well, you have a selection of custard creams. A custard creams. And um, bourbons. Bourbons. Okay. Now, many a year ago, in, a, in an office, I, I joined the two together. And I want you to do the same thing. So Did you make a hybrid? I made a hybrid. Grab a bourbon and a custard cream. Okay. Okay. And all you do is you separate them out. So you have a, a biscuity side, all right, and a creamy side. Okay. I need another one. And then you stick them together. All right. And then you just bite into it. Mmm. I can't, I can't separate them, Mike. No. It's just crumbling, Mike. You're not good at this. Right, okay. Can I not just do that? Try that. I'll chew. I can't move my law. <laughs> no. See, that's why you need to separate them. Well, I, I've, I've been known for the custard bun for many years. Do you want to spit that into your mug? Not mine, yours. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Not mine. It's going to pop it there. It's going to pop it on the... Oh, no. After many years of me having custard buns... Custard buns! Custard buns, as I, I lovingly name them. Um, Morrison's have got in on the act have they? and brought out a new biscuit, which they have called bourbon creams. Oh, do you feel aggrieved? I feel, I feel, that, I feel right? massively aggrieved, and I have some of the sinful product here. Okay, right. It's just a, it's just a custard cream. No, it's a bourbon biscuit with custard cream filling. Okay, and it's not as good as a custard one. Mmm, it's a biscuit. It is a biscuit, right? Um, but. I, I had a bit of a rant, and I went through my social media and found some evidence that I invented the custard bun. Okay. Okay. The first one I've got is from when I, I basically was sharing it with people that were asking the question, um, what's your favourite biscuit? And I said, this is 2019, that's an easy one, it's a custard bun. Okay. I'm so proud of the custard bun, I've eaten it in lots of different places. Mm. Right. I took biscuits abroad with me so that I could eat a custard bun in front of La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Okay. I'm very angry about Morrison's taking my idea. You know, you've invented the, the custard bun. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I wonder if any of our viewers have invented a, a strange combination of food and then eaten it in a strange place. Yeah, and if they have, why not share it with us on our social media sites at The Could TV. But that's all from The Buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. Or should I now refer to you as Captain Custabon? Yes. St <laughs> Stay with us, because after this quick break, it's that science that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Tune the Cud. Now, it's that part of the show that learns you things what you didn't know and didn't even want to know. It's that science, that is. That science, that is. This week, we're going to be doing something called chromatography. Oh. Do you know what chromatography is? No. No, it's colour separation, and we're not talking about when you're doing your whites. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do two little experiments, and while they're doing, we're going to have a bit of fun with a balloon. I'll be the judge of that. You, you don't have fun with anything. You just, um, so the first thing we're going to do is make a pretty picture using science. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I need is some of, of the lovely fragranced toilet tissue that you have. Oh, okay. Okay, so get a couple of sheets of your fragrance toilet tissue and have a guess what's, what fragrance it is. Uh. It's all the same flavour. Is it coconut? No, it's not. This is strawberry and watermelon. Really? Yeah! Why do you need, why do you need scented toilet paper, Mike? Why would you not? Because... It's not going to improve the smell of it. It's not going to improve the smell of it, but it's nice to smell, you know, before you... Anyway. <laughs> it's nice to sniff it before you wipe your ass. Yes. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this tissue and yes. grab one of your plates, your plate that's empty and dry. 
Yes. Yeah. And you want to moisten this tissue with some water. Just a sheet? Just just one of the pads that I've given you. So I've given you a sheet of three. All right, so all three. All three. Moisten them. Moisten them all together. Okay. Well, it's sodden now, Mike. Well, you've soddened it or instead of moistened it. Oh. But it'll still work, it's fine. Don't wring it out. Okay. Okay. So yeah, just lay it flat on the plate. <laughs> and then what you can use is, we've got some coloured chocolate sugar sweet things. Oh, okay. They're Smarties. I'm just going to say Smarties. Um, I'm using the different ones, you can just pop them on the tissue, okay, in a pattern. And what will happen is the colour will start to come out of the, the, the sugary shell and separate out into its base colours. That's not eat them, Lee. Lee? What? Sweetheart, pop, pop some on the tissue. Oh, okay. Not just your face. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in my hand. Okay, so if you've, if you've drawn your pattern that you want to, to do? I have, Mike. Okay, and then you just leave that to one side, because that's going to take a little minute to get going. A little minute? A little minute to get going. Okay. While that does that, okay, you can actually join colours together as well. Can you? Yeah. So you should have two two frosted coloured glasses. Hmm. A yellow one and a pink one. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you should also have some food colouring. Oh, I, I do see that. Okay, I want you to put the yellow food colouring into one glass. The same yellow, in the yellow one? The yellow one into a glass, yes. Any, any glass? Either or. Okay. Okay. Natural. Some water in the glass already. All okay. of it? All of it, all of it. More, all of it, all of it, keep going. Yeah. And then in the other glass, pop the red food colouring. Once again, all of it. Is this cochineal? Um, no. No, it's an it's a artificial one, I think. Yes. Okay. So you should have now some coloured fluid. Piss and blood. Okay, not quite the colours. And then you should also have a, a, a plastic beaker. I do. Pop that in the middle of the two, two colours. And then using some of your toilet tissue, you want to create a rope. Okay, dokey. You need to make two ropes. Two ropes? Two ropes. I... So out of the sheets you've got there, yeah. make two ropes. Oh, right, okay. Two oh. ropes? Two ropes. Two ropes. Two ropes. Okay, and then give it a bit of a twist so it's all, all nice and even. And make a little bit of an N shape. A what shape? Like an N shape. Like an upside down V. I know my alphabet, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. You got the ropes. And then you're going to pop it so that your your peak is overlapping the rim. Like that. My peak is often overlapping the rim. I've heard. And then what should happen is that it should go into like an M. Yeah? Yes, okay. And you'll notice that due to capillary action, the, the coloured fluid will start going up the tissue. Indeed it is, Mike. It is. Look. But it's absorbent, so I would expect nothing less. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's travelling up, so, you know, defying gravity, like the sun. Okay, so if I'm just going to move that gently to one side. Oh, is that another push to one side? Just a gentle push to one side, because we're going to leave that to, to get going. Okay, because this takes a little while, okay? You've got your your favourite glassware that we have here at Chewing. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you should also have a balloon. I do. And you should also have some matches. Oh, we're going to do fire things. We're going to do some fire things. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to strike two matches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop them into the glass, and then when they go out, pop your balloon on top of the glass. Is it going to make a banging noise? No. It shouldn't make a banging noise. If you put it on while they're still on fire, it will. Is this going to be as that. successful as the cloud in the bottle? Yes, if not more so. Okay. So, <laughs> so do, do I strike, strike the, the matches, matches at the same so time? Lit. Yeah, 
Pop them in the glass. As soon as they go out, pop the balloon on top of the glass. Oh, okay. Gonna strike them. Okay. Okay, and then pop, pop, pop it on as soon as it goes out. As soon as it goes out. I think they're right. Okay, and then pop it on. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> oh no, mine was still lit. Come <laughs> ah. That's science, that is. It's and also a little brown is. mark <laughs> where I'm sitting. Okay, so now what should happen is you should be able to lift the glass up with your balloon because <laughs> it should have caused a vacuum. Okay. So just gently give it a lift. No, Mike. No. <laughs> wow, what a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we check out our chromatography things while, we, while that didn't work? Well, uh, hopefully that, that's a damn sight more successful than that. Okay, so if you, we have a look at the glasses first because they're normally the quickest ones. Okay. Okay, so if you move those cl close to you, what you should have now is, if your, your tissue is touching, it should have joined up together as a colour. No. Was the tissue touching? No, well it, no. They've, they've, um... The, yeah. Now they're they weren't touching. Now they're touching, but and, and the yellow has gone up, and the red has gone up. Okay. So and the yellow is going into the red. Yeah, it's going to the red. It should make orange. It does, Mike. It does. Yeah, because if you look at it, yeah, it's started to merge there. Yes, it has. Yeah. It's clever, that, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Just So we'll just leave that. If you check your, 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 your Smarties, they should have started to leak colour out. So if you take them off... You can eat these Smarties now if you want. There, there's a little spotting. It's a little spotting. Oh, I only did a little bit. Oh, I did a little bit. But if you, you look around the outside, they've got this little coloured halo that's starting to happen. Yeah, yeah. And the longer you leave it, the bigger those rings get. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. Indeed, it's how I have. Yeah. And that, that's chromatographer, so let's see if you look. I've got a little white bottom. Great. It's a little white bottom. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah. Okay. And that's science, that is. That's science, that is. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you all soon. Bye. 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 You're at most of the channel.